Well, I guess anti-war activist Cindy Sheehan must have had her fingers crossed when she announced her retirement a few months back. Darn! Or maybe she just thinks she's already conquered the U.S. market and needs to expand overseas. It is that all-important overseas market that we all care about so dearly now. Whatever the reason, Cindy Sheehan was in uh, Egypt yesterday marching in solidarity with wives and children of imprisoned members of the Muslim Brotherhood. Her own son died in Iraq fighting radical Islam, and now she's in Egypt supporting a group that some believe personify it, a group that has publicly stated their desire to bring Sharia law to Egypt. This group stands against almost everything Cindy Sheehan says she stands for, which leads me to believe that she is either shockingly naive, dangerously crazy, or more likely both. Dr. Zudi Jasser is the founder of American Islamic Forum for Democracy. First of all, Zudi, for anybody who doesn't know the Muslim uh, Brotherhood, these guys are, uh, they'll take all of Cindy Sheehan's rights away. Oh, absolutely. The Muslim Brotherhood basically is the central nervous system of political Islam around the world. They are an Islamic religious political party that wants to put into place Islamic states wherever they can. And basically, they are to terrorism what the Communist Party was to the Soviet uh, dream for transnational communism in the Cold War. Okay, Th so this is what, what the Muslim Brotherhood wants is in Egypt a theocratic state. They want another Iran. True or false? They want, now they, they profess now that they want parliaments, elections, etc. But the source of their law would be the Quran and the Imams that work for them and their interpretation, such as Qardawi. So basically they want a theocracy. They would say it's Iran light or a democracy, but right. it's certainly not a society based on liberty and freedom. Does it ever confuse you, Zudi, trying to keep up with progressives where they just want to shut down any kind of... Uh, talk of religion here in America, but she will go stand in solidarity with people who want a theocracy in Egypt? <laughs> That's, that's the whole bizarre nature of this alliance between the far left and the Islamists. Can you explain uh, it at all? Well, I think it's part of this cultural relativism where they feel that in America uh, they expect one thing, but for others, such as us Muslims and Arabs, they, they somehow think that somehow we want to live in theocracy, so they're going to let us do that. When in fact, why doesn't she go march the streets of Cairo for all the feminists and the secular Muslims that have been in jail? And it's not only the Muslim Brotherhood that should be let out, but how about the, all the other freedom fighters that were part of the Kafia movement and others that have been fighting the regime of Mubarak that she's not speaking for? Isn't... Uh, it w isn't uh, bin Laden's number two guy, or wasn't the number two guy of bin Laden uh, from the Muslim Brotherhood? Absolutely, and that's the issue, is that it's not only about terrorism. The goals of the Muslim Brotherhood are no different at the end of the day from the goals of Al-Qaeda, Islamic Jihad, or any of these transnational Islamist movements that want to put into state Islamic, put into place Islamic states based on Sharia law. Sudi, thank you very much. Talk to you again, my friend. Coming up. Uh